Hello there. How would you like to study crop science at the University of KwaZulu-Natal? Crop science is the study of growing food, feed, fuel and fiber crops where we identify, interpret, improve and manage various crops, preparing them for planting and urban uses. The University of KwaZulu-Natal offers crop science and I'm going to subdivide it into four parts to give you a better outlook of the module. First off, we have lab experiments, where students get to perform tests of crops inside a laboratory. Then we have controlled experiments, which are done inside glass houses and tunnels, where we get more control over oxygen, temperature and water, while also eliminating the harsh, unfavorable conditions that are experienced outdoors. We then have field experiments, where we take the results from our lab experiments and controlled experiments and put them into practice in the field. Put it all together and you have a nice, friendly crop science environment. Let's jump over to the lab experiments to get examples of such experiments. Located at the School of Agricultural Earth and Environmental Sciences is a very friendly laboratory where students can perform various tests on crops, ranging from germination tests, purity tests and weed tests. And in this video, we're going to show you an example of the germination test. In a germination test, we test the condition of seeds to see if they will germinate into healthy sprouts before actually planting them on the field. For this experiment, we need a paper towel which we soak in distilled water. This will help moisten the seeds as seeds are often very dry and in need of water. We then place the seeds on top of the damp paper towel and space them nicely apart, giving each seed room to germinate. After that, we cover the seeds with another paper towel and again apply distilled water all over the now sandwich seeds. We then roll the sandwich seeds over one end to the other. Put them in a plastic bag and inside the germination chamber where they will be exposed to the correct conditions favorable for germination. And this is where we wait and hope the seeds germinate into healthy sprouts for our test to be successful. Let's now head over to the controlled experiments to get examples of such experiments. Also on the premises of the School of Agricultural, Earth and Environmental Sciences are tunnels and glass houses designed to conduct further experiments on seeds. These tunnels are, of course, enclosed, eliminating the harsh, unfavorable conditions that would be experienced in the field. Let me take you inside one of them, just to give you a better look of how they are set up and the kinds of experiments that are conducted within such tunnels. As demonstrated, students can single-handedly perform various tasks to cater to the needs of their experiments. Examples include plowing, watering and watching crops as they grow into healthy seedlings. And here is an example of the glass house, which is completely enclosed, giving us complete control over factors such as humidity, temperature, irrigation and even diseases. The glass houses are used when investigating the effects of the aforementioned factors, which were humidity, temperature, irrigation and diseases on the growth and the yield of the crops. Let's now head over to the fields to put our test results into practice. So, after the tests from the lab and controlled experiments are successful, we then take our test results into the field and plant them, knowing how well they will perform, thanks to the tests we have conducted. Of course, different seeds produce different plants, which produce different products. Maize, for example, is contained in tires, glue, cosmetics, hand soap, matches, toothpaste, and many, many more products. While wheat can be found in cereal, bread, pasta, ice cream, meatballs, and many other products. Sunflower is contained in cooking oil, sour cream, bakery products, granola, wine, margarine, etc. So, having learned all this, you might be wondering what career options there are for crop science students. 
Well, there's a wide range of options to choose from. You can become an agroecologist and study ecological processes that operate in agricultural production systems, advising farmers and governments on novel management approaches for crop production. Or a biotechnician, if you would rather work in the laboratory researching, testing and developing consumer products. You can even become a research scientist specializing in laboratory research. If you would like to work for a large company, advising on crop protection and development, you can become a seed scientist. You can be an agronomist, if you prefer being in the field and developing new methods of growing crops. Or you can even become an academic and build a fulfilling career conducting teaching and research at a university and progress from lecturer to senior lecturer, associate professor and eventually full professor level. There is really a whole range of options to choose from. And so I ask you again, how would you like to study crop science at the University of KwaZulu-Natal?